guys. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the Poisson probability distribution in Python. We'll use some of the information that we can pull off this Wikipedia page for the Poisson distribution to write a function a bit later in the video. And we'll also use uh, the SciPy library in Python and the, probabil the, the probability distribution for the Poisson random variable more specifically. So we'll get started here with some imports. So we'll go from scipy.stats import Poisson. And so all that's really doing is just importing what we've got here. So we've got scipy.stats.poisson. So we're importing the Poisson bit. Whoops. And we're going to import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, and import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. So that's what we need for this video. And now, what you'll often find the Poisson distribution being used for is to model frequency. And you'll often see it in the insurance industry. So we'll use an example from the insurance industry, or it'll just be a make-believe example, but something that is along the lines of what you would see in the insurance industry. For example, say you're trying to model the frequency of how often a hurricane would make landfall in some given region. So if you're familiar with the Poisson distribution, the mean here, which is lambda, which is included also included in the PMF here, which we'll get to a bit later, but the mean here, it doesn't have to be an integer, but you can't have half a hurricane or 0.7 of a hurricane. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna generate some random variates using the SciPy library. And we'll see, even though we put in a mu value here, which will be not an integer, and the mu is just the lambda in this Wikipedia page, so the mean, it will actually output these random variates that are integers. So let's take a look at that first and I think it'll set the scene a bit. So we'll create a variable here and we'll go x underscore rvs and we'll go poisson.rvs, which was just this method that we saw here in the scipy docs. And as I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put 1.2 in here. And what that's essentially saying for our example is we're saying that on average, over a long period of time, we expect to see 1.2 hurricanes make landfall in the given region every year. And so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a size and we're gonna set it at 100,000. And what you can think of that is that we're essentially getting a hundred thousand years, a hundred thousand individual years where we're looking at the frequency of how many hurricanes hit for any one of these hundred thousand years. And just so we can reproduce it, we'll just go random state and just equals two. So if we have a look at this, we'll just take say, first 20 values so you can see here that as I said on average we think that 1.2 hurricanes are gonna hit every year but obviously that's a statistical property if you like you can't actually have 1.2 hurricanes so when we actually create our random variants using the Poisson.RVS method we actually have here, so you can think of this, we've taken, say, as I said, we've done it over 100,000 years, we've taken the first 20,000 years that have been output, so we're essentially saying that they were in the first year there was one, second year there was one, third year there was one, fourth year there was zero, this year there was three, that year there was two. But if we then take that and we just take the main, so even though these are all integers, if we take the mean at 100,000 values, we can see it's this 1.19286 figure, which is pretty close to 1.2, which is our mean. 
that we or our lambda value that we've entered in here or mu depending on what you want to call it whether you're looking at sci-fi or wikipedia and that's contingent on how many values you got here so if you got say 10 here it's just one so the more values you have here the closer it's going to go to converging on your lambda value that you've put here So that's that. Now what we're going to do is just so we can graph it and get a bit of a visual on this, we're going to wrap this in pd.series and we're going to turn it into a pandas series. And then we're also going to create this variable called data. We're going to go x rvs. We go dot value counts and this is so we can graph it so if I just run that we see that you saw the 20 before so in the out of the hundred thousand there's actually 36,084 ones 30,473 zeros and so on so we're gonna do that we're then gonna go dot sort underscore index to sort it by index just so it's in a usable format for us and then send it to a dictionary and we end up with this and then we're going to plot it so we're going to go fig ax go plt dot subplots fig size to make it a little bit bigger and we're going to go ax dot bar We go range lang put our data through and then list data dot values and then just so we align the bars we go align center and then if we just do plt dot x ticks range lang data list and then data dot keys and if we go plt dot show we run that and we can see what our probability mass function looks like then so as you can see these are the random variants in this dictionary here and if you come down here you can see zero and that's the 30,473 and so on so what it's essentially saying is that given the mean of 1.2 here, you're going to have this many years out of a hundred, if you think of these as years, 100,000 years, 30,473 years, you're going to have zero hurricanes make landfall in the given region. And then this many, um, you're going to have one hurricane, two hurricanes, and then way out in the tail, there is going to be one year where you actually have eight hurricanes that make landfall. So what we can do now with that is if we create a function and we go def Poisson and we'll create, we'll call it PMF for probability mass function. And if we come to our Wikipedia page, we can see here the PMF. And so what we're going to need out of this or for parameters in our function is we're going to need a lambda and a k. So if we come back here and we put a k and we put a lamb for lambda and then we return and we're just going to type what we saw there. So it's going to be lambda to the power of k times np's exponential function. So np dot exp negative lambda and then it was k factorial. So we can go np dot math dot factorial and k so what we can do here is we can then call our function and say we want to know the probability that there's zero hurricanes in a year given that we think on average that there's going to be 1.2 
So if we call that, it's saying that there's a 30% or roughly 30% chance that there'll be zero hurricanes, even though we expect there to be 1.2 on average. Now, we can use the scipy method to do that exact same thing. And it's got this PMF function here. And again, we're gonna need a K and it's got a, again, it's a mu, but we can think of that as Lambda. So what we do is we go Poisson.PMF and we just pass through the same parameters. So we go zero and 1.2 and we get the same result. And now if you come back up here and you look at this, we take that and we divide that by 100,000. You can see it's roughly the same probability because that's how many zeros we got when we created our 100,000 years of data. Again, if you take one and you divide that by 100,000, you get 0 0.36084. And if we change this to one here, change that to one, we get 0 0.3614 and 0 0.3614. So as you can see, the data is a pretty good approximation using the 100,000 years of what the probability would be. Now, just lastly, what we'll do is we'll just use a couple more of the methods here. They're a bit trivial for the Poisson distribution because the mean is the same as the variance. But as you'll see here, um, the mean is lambda and the variance is lambda for a Poisson distribution, but we'll just do them anyway for completeness. So here in the docs, in the SciPy docs, we've got mean or medium mean bar and STD. So let's do them now. So we go Poisson dot mean and we'll put a two in this. change this one to median bar variance and STD for standard deviation and we print them out they're all the same except the standard deviation so there you go so I hope that was helpful if it was remember to give the video a thumbs up the best way you can support the channel is to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching